A new survey shows many Wisconsinites support mental health officers in their local police force and would be willing to pay for it. In a poll released by the Wisconsin Professional Police Association, 67% of respondents say they support increasing spending for social programs, just not at the expense of their police department. 64% of those surveyed are in favor of increasing local taxes for specifically trained mental health officers. NBC 26's Kelsey Dickinson met with two area police departments that have these positions and explains the role they play in the community. For the past two years, 441 North Valley, 41. Josh Hopkins has taken on a new role at the Ottagami County Sheriff's Office. As law enforcement, we are interacting with a lot of calls that have a mental health component to the call. He investigates those calls, connecting people to the resources they need and helping fellow officers see situations through a different lens. The officers are responding to this call and they're reaching out to me or they're just recognizing themselves that there is a mental health aspect to this call. So how should we approach this to best benefit the citizen? Elsewhere in the Fox Valley, Tip. a furry friend helps the Oshkosh Police Department on similar calls. Her job is, again, to bring that calm and bring that support so people feel a little bit more comfortable talking with either an officer or a social worker. With his partner Magic by his side, behavioral health officer Scott Zapata helps de-escalate high-priority situations. So what my position really is is to bridge that gap and have a 24-hour you know, service that people can call if they're having a difficult time and get them into services. Now, Hopkins position in out Gaming County came together thanks to a privately funded grant, while Zapata and Magic's jobs are funded through the Oshkosh Police Department's budget. Both reflect the results of the WPPA survey, that the roles are widely supported in the community. For agencies that have already taken those steps to make some of those investments, you know, knowing that, you know, in those areas that that spending has such high public support, it's got to be gratifying and it kind of reinforce those efforts. Jim Palmer hopes the survey can help policymakers make informed decisions, possibly bringing more people like Hopkins and Zapata onto Wisconsin police forces. In the Fox Valley, Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26.